Hi, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com. We've tested more than 700 pairs of headphones, including options like the Odyssey MM100. If you're looking to get started on your audiophile journey, these open back planar magnetics are an affordable option to the manufacturer's top of the line MM500. They're designed in collaboration with Grammy Award winning engineer and producer Manny Mariquin. Apparently, he even used them to mix Kendrick Lamar's number one album, Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers. While they're designed with audio mixing and production in mind, that shouldn't stop you from using them to appreciate your favorite tunes. So, are the MM100 a step up from other, better established competitors? Let's find out. The MM100 have a sleek, retrofuturistic design. If they were in a Daft Punk music video, they wouldn't seem out of place. They look fairly similar to the popular Odyssey Maxwell. They have distinctive black grills, embossed with the brand's logo. They also feature a ski band style headband with a leather strap. The strap has a limited range of adjustment. There's only three sets of notches, so you'll have to find the one that fits. Thankfully, the padding on the ear cups is dense and plush. It feels great on the skin. If you expect them to come with an armored flight case like the Odyssey LCD3, you'll be disappointed. At this price point, you get an Odyssey branded pouch to protect them from dust and spill drinks. There's been no sacrifices when it comes to build quality though. They're built to last thanks to their steel, aluminum, and dense plastic design. This helps place them among the best constructed over ears we've tested. Like other planar magnetics, they're quite chunky and pretty heavy on the head. The headband does a good job of distributing its weight across the frame, but they still weigh on the top of your head during long listening sessions. All of this weight also translates to a lack of stability, so it's not ideal to wear them on the move. These are wired headphones designed for a latency-free studio use. They come with this long braided quarter inch TRS to an eighth of an inch TRS cable, that lets you plug straight into your professional end devices. You can purchase an adapter to fit most of your standard audio jacks. You can even use the adapter to connect to an Xbox or PlayStation for audio compatibility, just in case you get tired in the studio and feel like swapping noise gates for Baldur's Gate 3. A nice little touch is the ability to plug the cable into either one of the ear cups. This helps give you an increased freedom of movement. And Southpaws rejoice, no cable to catch on your dominant hand. Plus, they have high sensitivity and low impedance. You'll get plenty of volume from laptops and phones without needing a dedicated app. Now, for the section you've all been waiting for, and this will surely drive you to the comments. How do they sound? As we've mentioned, the MM100 are planar magnetic drivers, which are used in other popular audiophile headphones, like the Hi-Fi Man Sundara. Most over-ear headphones you'll find on the market have dynamic drivers, given that they're much easier to manufacture. Planar magnetics, however, have a faster transient response than traditional dynamic drivers. They often have a tighter, more controlled sound too, with less of a likelihood of bass range distortion. Like most open backs, the MM100 lack boom and rumble in the low end. There's enough warmth and clarity in the bass range to clearly hear the transients of kicks and bass instruments, but you won't feel the sub bass present in 808s. They do a stellar job of reproducing mid-range frequencies though, so vocals and lead instruments sound crystal clear and full of detail. Our measurements reveal quite a large dip between the low and mid treble though. This causes sibilants like cymbals to lose some of their high-end brilliance. However, since these headphones were designed to effectively replace near-field monitors, this might not be the worst thing for long listening sessions. If we compare their treble response to that of another industry titan, we can see why the MM100 might be easier on the ears over time. The Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro have a sharper, overemphasized treble. Siblings are piercing, which can lead to fatigue over time. However, this can make it easier to spot imperfections in your mixes. These headphones generally follow the trend of their own sound profile well. However, some peaks and dips in the treble range cause certain frequencies to be disproportionately emphasized. It's worth noting that the shape of your outer ear impacts the treble response, so you may not have quite the same experience as us. Audio delivery may also be inconsistent if you wear glasses or have thick hair. This can disrupt the seal formed on the ear cups, causing a drop in bass. Open backs are great if you're looking for a natural, dimensional sound. These cans have an expansive soundstage that helps replicate the immersive qualities of studio monitors. So you don't need to cover your apartment with acoustic panels. You might know that planar magnetic drivers are more prone to driver mismatch and imaging inconsistencies than dynamic drivers. We're happy to report that the imaging performance of our unit is amazing. The left and right drivers are well matched in frequency, amplitude, and phase response while group delay is low enough to ensure a tight bass response. This makes it much easier to position instruments accurately in the stereo field. However, imaging will still vary between units. 
It's also worth noting too that because they're open backs, blocking out background noise is literally the opposite intention of their design. We wouldn't recommend bringing them on an airplane to drown out the sound of engines or crying babies. Depending on what you're listening to, this might make the crying worse. These cans are supposed to leak audio, and a lot of it. It's another caveat of their open back design. The question here is more like who should buy them? The Odyssey MM100 are a niche product, even within the esoteric world of audiophile headphones. Since they're meant for home or studio use, they're too heavy and bulky to wear on the go. They also lack low bass. Although most audiophiles won't be bothered by this, it's quite on par the course with open backs. On the upside, the detailed mid-range definitely adds a nice clarity to vocals and instruments. The soundstage is a lot wider and more immersive sounding than competitors like the Bear Dynamic DT990 Pro. The determining factor comes down to treble response. The MM100's recessed treble sounds muffled and veiled compared to other planar magnetic headphones, like the Hi-Fi Mansandara. This recessed treble range may benefit those planning long days in the studio, but it's hard to say that they're more accurate across the entire frequency range or that they sound better than the Sundara or the DT990 Pro. These are great alternatives to the Odyssey if you want a more balanced sound in general. To that end, the Odyssey are still a good option for audio professionals who still want a solid pair of cans for mixing. That's it for our review of the Odyssey MM100. To read more about these headphones, check out our website's written review. It's in the link below. That's in the description box. Until next time, I'm Vanessa from Ratings.com where we help you find the best product for your needs. The MM100 have a sleek retro future. Oh. <laughs> yep, don't worry. I, I just learned how to read this morning. <laughs> planar magnetic, planar magnetic. <laughs> just me muttering to myself, planar magnetic, planar magnetic. So many thumb twisters at the same time. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, there we go. <laughs>